we all have potential. So what's stopping you? What we have to do is figure out where to channel it and what are those steps. There's no gatekeepers to capital anymore. There's no exclusive country club or college or this or that. And we're all interconnected. So it doesn't matter whether you're in a big city or in Botswana, you can still reach 6 billion consumers. What's stopping you? That fear of failure, that Oh, if I fail, what will people say? Failing's a great thing. Failing teaches you what doesn't work. Failure is throwing in the towel. So you take that job to be secure, you go for that big Fortune 500 company, and most of the Fortune 500 companies go out of business. There's less than 10% of them left. What's stopping you? That's an amazing statement of the original list. So, it's not the security that's robbing ambition, it's the illusion of security that robs ambition. So the biggest risk you can take in life is not taking one. If you're at that point where you're in the middle of your career and you lost your job, or you're just out of college and starting, or just out of high school, go talk to a senior citizen about what they really regret about their lives. And it's not what they failed at. It's what they didn't try. It's the regrets of why didn't I? So if you try something and you fail, you learn a skill set for something else. Is people have problems in their lives. And most people sit there and dwell on the problems or they relive yesterday. Every day you spend living yesterday's problem, you're giving up your future. It makes no sense. But if you say, I have problems, or am I unique? Am I the only one that has these problems? And the answer probably is no, okay? So find a problem that a lot of people have solve it, and that's all that being an entrepreneur is, that's all the business person is. The more problems you have in your life, the more successful you'll be. What's stopping you? Dozens of your friends become billionaires. We weren't brighter, we didn't go to the right schools, we didn't do anything. What happened? The world changed. Well, the world's continuing to change. We have self-made billionaires in their 20s happening almost monthly. They have the same 24 hours in a day that you and I do. What are they doing differently? What are they doing that can be learned from and copied and emulated to solve a different problem? And if you're not motivated by money, how do you use these same tools to change the world? Because the world's got problems. What else is a problem that you aren't identifying because you've accepted that's the way it is, that's the way it's always been? What are you passionate about and what affects the most people? All the big Famous people that you hear about, you know, Richard Branson and Steve Jobs and, and, and Zuckerberg and everyone, they're no different than you are, right? 70 something percent of the world's billionaires are self made. So you can achieve this. Now, it's not going to be easy. You don't just wake up on Tuesday and become rich on Wednesday, but it doesn't take any more effort than going to a job that you hate. And unless you believe in reincarnation, you got one shot on this planet. One shot. So don't you wanna make a difference? Don't you wanna leave something behind and make the planet better than you found it? Why are you here? What do you want to accomplish with your life? And it doesn't have to be being random, and it doesn't have to be money oriented. The same principles can disrupt you. You can change the educational system, you can change healthcare, I mean, I am humbled by what I'm seeing people create around the world with so little. But we are on this ball together. We can solve problems together. We can make a better future together. You know, it's an optimistic story that you get to write your piece of the, the story. I mean, why wouldn't people want to push their potential? So aim for the stars. If you didn't make it all the way, you made it to the moon, you know, not bad. <laughs> And everyone should spend their time trying to be around people that you feel are smarter than you. That doesn't necessarily mean more educated. You don't have to be the best. Be the best at what you do or the only one doing it. Because if you're the only one doing it, you're the best. And that's a lot better than competing. And then at some point, we become a nation of settlers that just settle for the way it is. 
we got to get more of that pioneer thing because there's so much abundance and it's not an us versus them. Everybody can benefit. Why wouldn't you want that? What's stopping you? There's one way you should see life. Life is an opportunity. You have this opportunity for a reason. That reason is to succeed. Succeed far past fears, past doubts, past your insecurities, empowering yourself toward the finish line. Success can only occur if you put in the work. If your progress comes first, this power can take you towards a life more than normal, more than worthy because you're more than worthy. Now is the time to make this opportunity. Your opportunity is more than this. It's your potential to succeed. Use your potential. Use it as your superpower because that's what it is. Power, power to succeed, to achieve. How badly do you want something? How much do you want it? There's only one way to get it. It's to work hard. Motivate your life toward a future where you can succeed, where you can achieve. What's stopping you? One mistake shouldn't hold you back for more than one day. The rise is the most important part of your progress. The rise makes your future something different. It makes you you. It makes you strong. And the intelligence of that takes you to a power worth your future and value this. This moment of pain is not going to last forever unless you let it last forever. You don't need this, so don't let it happen. Change your perspective. Change your mindset to something always willing to grow, always willing to take courage. Make this who you are and make this worthwhile. This power that you have is valuable because your future is valuable and your potential is valuable. You're more than you could ever imagine, man. Your power is stronger than you could ever imagine. This progress is going to take time. But this opening to work, this opening that you have in this moment, it's not always open. So take it. Take it right now. Take it now before it's too late. You're more than your last minute. You're more than your last minute. You're more than your last mistake. So respect the path you're on. Take the journey. Become the path. Make this define you. Your future relies on this. So be this opportunity. Take the risk and become the person you want to be. You're there. You're present. So act like it. You have this power to become something better. Better than ordinary. Your progress never stops because the show always will go on with or without you life still continues the world spins and time still passes this is your opportunity get prepared for the success get prepared for the progress you can make this you make this power yours yours to keep forever because this is what you're going to leave behind this is what your legacy is made up of the moments when you get knocked down but rise up over and over again these are the building blocks of the legacy that you're constructing these moments when you push forward and rise up over and over again and that is what brings you to the place where you thrive the place where you thrive and become better you're better than you think you are all you need is belief. The belief that you can succeed. The belief that you can learn, educate yourself. Your respect is worth something. It's worth your future and it's worth the discipline. This opening that you have is so special, so take it. Turn around and see the other side of your story. See the page where you're the star where you have the power and success you've dreamed of having. Imagine that future. You have the power, the power to push the part of you that sheltered yourself from this progress, that didn't allow you to grow and get stronger. You can be better. You can change to be better, to be stronger, and become the person you need to be. 
transform into the person with respect. Respect for themselves. Respect for the decisions you make. Appreciation for the progress you're making. How are you going to make this transition? Are you willing to change? Do you want to change? In order for you to succeed, you need to switch your mindset. You need to know that you want it. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your mistakes. You have one tool. It's called time. Taste the opportunity and feel the success. Feel the power rise above you. You have this. Believe that you can. Know that you can. Be the person you want to become.